Hello everyone, I'm Donna Steele and this is an FNN News Break. Tech billionaire and climate activist Bill Gates is getting divorced from his longtime partner Melinda. While many of his supporters express sadness over this tragic event, others have a different opinion. One biologist from Columbia University speculates that this is simply how billionaires reproduce. He states, quote, It's simply too difficult to become a self-made billionaire. It's much easier to attract a mate, divide like cells, and so on down the line, continuing the cycle of division. It's estimated that by the year 3000, the world will be nothing but billionaires, and the value of a dollar will become one one-hundredth the value of today's penny." End quote. In other news, David's bridal is gearing up for wedding season with the all-new Mackenzie Bezos wedding line. Because true love is forever. <laughs> In tech news, a South Korean industrial designer has created a third eye for cell phone users to wear while crossing the street. A camera is attached to the user's forehead and acts as an extra eye, while the user is preoccupied with texting or social media. If the user comes too close to an object, the camera will alert the user. Though still in its early stages of development, there is hope that this invention will save many lives. Other mechanically augmented organs are in the works as well, such as a secondary liver for alcoholics, a tertiary lung for smokers, and an auxiliary colon for people who don't get enough fiber. There was talk of creating a secondary brain, but this idea was scrapped as too many people could not meet the prerequisite. If I only had a brain. It's cicada season again. The lovable 17-year flying insect is emerging across the eastern United States just in time for summer. Cicadas are known for their large size, loud song, and long life. Perhaps a lesser known fact about the giant bug is that they taste just like shrimp. However, people with shellfish allergies are warned not to eat them as they may trigger an allergic reaction. Health experts also warn against eating other icky things such as spiders, bees, rocks, twigs, gum you find under your subway seat, anything stuck to the treads of your sneakers after a morning run, the mystery meat found in the back of your fridge behind the fuzzy tomato sauce, the fuzzy tomato sauce, and of course, yellow snow. <laughs> ah, that's not lemon! In other news, Lego larceny is running rampant as the nostalgic children's building blocks are being sold on the black market for thousands of dollars. Although Lego theft has gone up recently, this isn't the first time collectible items have sold for much more than their original value. Recently, an invisible statue sold for $18,000. A 10-year-old grilled cheese sandwich bearing the likeness of the Virgin Mary sold for $28,000. And a used tissue from A-list actor Scarlett Johansson sold for $5,300. So, if you have some useless garbage, factitious food, or invisible items of your own, don't throw them away. Instead, sell them online, because there's probably some moron who is willing to give you thousands of dollars for it. Oh, lady for 25 cents. In second-hand news, former Fleetwood Mac guitarist Lindsey Buckingham is divorcing his wife of 21 years. Although he is grateful for finding big love later in life, his decision to break the chain with wife Kristen Mesner is final. The couple met in the 90s while Mesner was photographing Buckingham for one of his solo albums. It was Say You Love Me at first sight, and the couple said Don't Stop to their love as they tied the knot in 2000 and lived out their dreams. 21 years later, they are singing a different tune as their relationship falls into a landslide of Little Lies. An inside source states, quote, I'm so afraid that they will not be able to rekindle their love, end quote. This isn't Buckingham's first public breakup, as he and singer Stevie Nicks infamously endured a roller coaster romance in the 70s which inspired a hit song. In 2018, the band used Buckingham's words against him and said, you can go your own way. I'm Donna Steele, and this has been an FNN News Break. <laughs>